and welcome back. Can you ignore the porn talk with your teenager? Or maybe you had one talk about pornography. Is it really enough to just have one conversation? My name is Michal Greenberg-Coyen from Ask Michal, where I help parents to initiate the porn talk and everything related with their teenager. If you wanna gain confidence and learn what you should talk to your teenager about, then make sure you hit the red subscribe button and also the bell icon. So let's talk. As a parent or caregiver, I'm sure you want your teenager to make safer sexual choices. You might even engage with them with one conversation about pornography. Maybe you shared with them that porn isn't real and this is not how real sex should look like. Great, but having only one conversation isn't enough. I'm going to share with you three reasons why you should really have that as an ongoing conversation with your teenager. Number one. When talking about pornography, you shouldn't only focus about the fact that it's not real or this is not how real sex should look like. There are other topics that I want to encourage you to also have discussion about, such as body image, consent, healthy relationships, contraception. Each one of those topics is a conversation. Number two, our teenagers developing very fast during puberty, mentally and physically. There is a different conversation we should and can have in each of their ages, whether it's 12, 14, or 16. What we should do is to adjust our conversation about pornography to where they are at their development stage. If they're dating someone, it, we might want to have a different conversation with them. So we should definitely consider where our children are at their stage, their development stage, and address or adjust the porn conversation based on that. Number three, our teenagers probably not going to watch pornography only one time. And the more they're going to get exposed to pornography, they will get exposed to more ideas of how sex should look like or initiate it. So by us having the ongoing conversation, we're actually checking in with them. We're making sure that whatever they're watching and we don't need even to know what it is, they have critical lenses. They understand that this is pornography, this is fantasies, this is fiction, and that doesn't mean that this is how they should behave when they actually have any sex. To help you open up the porn conversation, I created a free guide with information, tips, and conversation starters. To download the guide, just click the link in the description box. Remember, there is a big chance that pornography will be part of their adulthood. By you having those conversations with your teenager, you are sending them the message that it's okay to talk about that. By doing so, there is a higher chance you will minimize the porn influence on their sexual behavior and choices. I also very curious to know if you already had the porn talk with your teenager, and if you did, what you actually talked about. So share in the comments below so we can all learn and get ideas from one another. I'll see you next week. Until then, stay safe and be well.